fellow Nigerians, this period may be hard on us, and there is no doubt that it's tough on us. But I urge you all to look beyond the present temporary pains and aim at the larger picture. All our good and helpful plans are in the works. More importantly, I know that they will work. Sadly, there was an unavoidable lag between subsidy removal and these plans coming fully online. However, we are swiftly closing the time gap. I plead with you, please have faith in our ability to deliver and in our concern for your well-being. We will get out of this turbulence and due to the measures we have taken, Nigeria will be better equipped and able to take advantage of the future that awaits her in line and in a little over two months. We have saved over a trillion naira that will have been squandered on the unproductive fuel subsidy, which only benefited smugglers and fraudsters. That money will now be used more directly and more beneficially for you and your families. For example, we shall fulfill our promise to make education more affordable to all and provide loans to higher education students who may need them. No Nigerian student, we have to abandon higher education because of lack of money. Our commitment is to promote the greatest good for the greatest number of our people. On principle, we shall never falter. We are also monitoring the effect of exchange rate and inflation on gasoline prices. If and when necessary, we will intervene. I assure you, my fellow countrymen and women, that we are exiting the darkness to enter a new and glorious dawn. Now, I must get back to work in order to make this wish come true. Thank you for listening and may God bless Federal Republic of Nigeria.